How's it going guys, Sharblox here. In this video, we're going to be looking at glitched avatar accessories that Roblox either should have banned, fixed, or put off sale. Now these are kind of interesting to take a look at. Like I said, some of them are glitched, some of them are broken, some of them Roblox should have deleted, but they didn't get around to doing it. I don't know, it's kind of strange. It's a fairly interesting list. Most of these accessories are off sale. You can get some from events, um, but they're just kind of interesting to take a look at. So the first one that I want to show you guys, you can't actually have a look at it. You can only see it once it's in your inventory. And this was actually a promo code item. I did actually do a video for this. Um, let me just have a look for it in my inventory quickly. It's this one right here, the Gnarly Triangle Headphones. Now the problem with these is they don't technically exist. You can wear them on your Roblox avatar, but if you click on them to actually view them properly, it basically just brings you back to the catalog. But like I said guys, they do work on your Roblox avatar, you just can't view any information about them, and Roblox never got around to fixing it. The next one is the Royal Tiara from the Wonder Woman event, you can still currently get this. The item picture, as you guys can see, is completely missing. Now the interesting thing is, you can wear it on your character, but if you're wearing it um, on your avatar, it won't show up or something like that, or um, the profile picture for it won't show up. It's kind of strange, it's a simple glitch to fix. I don't know why Roblox didn't get around to fixing it. So this one right here is a bit more interesting. This one is called the Stylish Tinted Shades. Now, when these were brought out, people complained and they wanted Roblox to ban them. So Roblox did say that they were actually going to ban them at one point. And you guys are probably wondering, why are these shades glitched? And why was Roblox going to ban them? The interesting thing is, you can still wear them on your avatar. And you guys can clearly see now why they were going to get banned. They look exactly the same as those shades that were designed for those Roblox admins. It's actually a very expensive item. I can't remember the name uh, per picture of it on screen. I did a whole video about this um, when it happened. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. These shades should have been banned, but they never got banned. Um, the profile picture for them is glitched, but you can still wear it. Also, it was uploaded as a hat and not a face accessory. A very, very glitched item that still works. You can still wear it. It's just a bit weird. Another glitched item that still works is Diana's ponytail, again from the Wonder Woman event. You can wear this, but the image icon is completely glitched. Also, if you take this into 3UD mode, it might be a bit glitched, but it should work in games. Now, this item is kind of glitched, forgotten about, I guess you could say. When UGC came out, Roblox said you cannot create anything that already exists. So you're not allowed to take a mesh or a decal from an already existing Roblox item and then basically recreate it as UGC. So what Reverse Polarity did, he actually took it off sale because he got a bit of hate, is he turned a big head into a waste accessory. Roblox did say that they would remove any items that are obviously copied from the original Roblox catalog. However, this one seemed to bypass it and it never got removed and you can actually still wear this on your avatar and it still works in games. Test hats are always interesting to take a look at. Some of them are content deleted and they don't work whatsoever. However, some of them do actually work and if you were lucky and you bought a test hat that didn't get deleted, you should be able to wear it. Like this one, for example, this one is called a Test Hat 201. It did actually get over 600 sales and you're actually able to wear this on your Roblox avatar and it's not broken. So I don't know why some of them get deleted and some of them don't. All of them are currently off sale. So if you've got one, it's a pretty rare item. I thought I should add completely deleted items to the list. Sometimes if you wear these on your Roblox profile before they're deleted, it still says you're wearing it um, when you take a look at your profile. So that is kind of a cool glitch. Um, but apart from that, they're completely banned and glitched. And when you wear them, basically nothing happens unless you wore it before it was banned. All right, so I don't know what's happening with this Wonder Woman stuff. Whoever added this to the Roblox website clearly didn't know what they're doing. This Wonder Woman hair is just floating. Um, it's not even positioned correctly, but if you wear it, it does actually work. And it actually has a tiara built into it. So do you even need to get the tiara by itself? Probably not. But um, it's another glitched item, which is free from the Wonder Woman event. So there we have it guys, many glitched items that you can still wear on your avatar and all of them do kind of work I guess, apart from the ones that are content deleted. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I do have a star code, so if you guys ever buy Robux or Roblox Premium, then if you enter my code SHARKBLOCKS when you purchase it, that would actually help me out quite a lot. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.